That's why I'm shooting it here, and this is the last week of wearing a felt hat because after Memorial Day you go to Straw Hat, that's the tradition on the Mr. Marty Show. By the way, this is my furry patch. I hope you like it. When they lower the door, you splash toward the shore. You knew they were waiting for you. What went through your mind? What thoughts did you find? As above you, the bullets flew. All the great words that you have heard that once sounded so grand. Were cloudy with doubt through the screams and the shouts as you pressed your face to the sand. Still, if not you, then you wondered who would be there to take your place. And deep in your heart, you did.
as you stagger to your feet with your gun in your pack under attack for the neighbor on your street give me liberty or give me death never more is true and you give your liberty with a fire Hi, Mr. Marty fans. Ma Gilmore here. Today we're talking about sacrifice. Now, when you think of sacrifice, you think of giving up something. And uh, we just had Lent, and people gave up meat, they gave up coffee, things that they really wanted to have. But when I think of sacrifice, I think of those who give of themselves, mothers and fathers who give of their time to their children or to their jobs so that their children may have things. And I think of the Titanic, those who had first class were asked to give up their seats on, on the boat so that the women and the children should go. And the captain going down with his ship because that is his duty. For when you think of sacrifice, you think of having something and giving up something. That for those who have been given much, much is expected of them, such as the captain, such as those who were playing on the Titanic, their voices and their instruments coming from the boat as it went down. Those are images of sacrifice. But today, sacrifice can mean giving of something of yourself so that others may live. Now those who seek out those who need a kidney and they go and they get uh, approved to give that kidney. They're giving of themselves, but they also are giving back to someone who can live on. Those who donate their organs when they pass away. That's a sacrifice that their family has given so that others may live. And when you go and you visit a homeless person or you go to a nursing home, that's giving of your time so that others may have joy. That's a real sacrifice. So I ask of you today, seek out those who are in need of you in need of your time, read to someone who can't read for themselves, those who are in a nursing home. Go visit a child in a hospital and watch them smile as you come in. That's a sacrifice. So I lead you on, leave you with this note of peace, sacrifice of your time. Have joy in your life as you give to those who are in need. Ma Gilmore, I give you peace. 
Our mission at Mr. Marty is to create a show of variety that feeds the soul with people from around the world contributing. We can become as big as your gift will allow us to be. Won't you consider joining the team? Go to martinmccormack.com and pledge a monthly contribution. Let's keep this growing.
Hello everyone, Polly Chase here from Marty Fine Art. Have you visited Marty's website lately? I encourage you to check it out. We've added a new section for greeting cards featuring eight of Marty's original artworks, including his latest painting, One-Eyed Wolf. And did you know you receive a 20% off discount when you join the email list? Sign up today at martinmccormick.com and you'll receive a code for 20% off your first order. Shop for fine art prints, t-shirts, tote bags, coffee mugs, greeting cards, and so much more. Apply your code in the shopping cart and enjoy your 20% off discount courtesy of martinmccormick.com. Thanks for listening and happy shopping! Half a league, half a league, half a league onward. All in the valley of death rode the 600. Forward the light brigade, charge for the guns, he said. Into the valley of death rode the 600. Forward the light brigade, was there a man dismayed? Not though the soldier knew someone had blundered. Theirs not to make reply. Theirs not to reason why, theirs but to do and die. Into the valley of death rode the six hundred. Cannon to right of them, cannon to left of them, cannon in front of them, volleyed and thundered. Stormed at with shot and shell, boldly they rode and well. Into the jaws of death, into the mouth of hell rode the 600. So as you can see, I'm going along here and I'm slowly adding in details as I put in the dots. And what that helps do is gives me a chance to just as carefully as possible to find things.
hint of the bone heading up toward the tendon. It was green, it was blue, it looked like me, no it looked like you. It had big feet, it had bunions, its breath was hot, it smelled like onions. I am asking you because I don't know just what it was. Came 
to visit. So rude.